I'm always up for a good old-fashioned Diablo-style action RPG, but The Ascent spices things up by setting its horde-hunting, XP-grinding gameplay in a beautifully realized cyberpunk world, then adds another unique layer on top of that by virtue of the fact that combat is more twin-stick shooter than melee clickfest. The result is a game I feel like I haven't played a thousand times already, and a good one at that. And while it does suffer from some frustrating design choices, it's nevertheless a fun way to spend 15 plus hours. The first thing you're likely to notice about The Ascent is that the developers at Neon Giant absolutely nailed the cyberpunk aesthetic. The world of Velus feels grimy and lived in, from the bustling city areas that are crawling with NPCs to the corporate high-rises of the upper class being literally above everyone else to the aptly named Deep Stink Sewers at the bottom of the world. At least one of the following are on screen at any given moment. Vibrant colors, beautiful rain, it isn't cyberpunk without rain after all, and excessive violence. The story, meanwhile, isn't particularly engaging or memorable, which is a shame given how well-realized the world is. But it's hardly bad, and I certainly never got bored of looking at the Ascent. That's also mostly true about playing it. Feel free to flatline any slag-headed turbo viper just looking at you sideways. The Ascent takes a little while to get going. Its first couple of hours are a bit dull in the gameplay department where you'll be shooting the cyberpunk equivalent of rats, but before long, you're in the power band of this 15 to 20 hour quest to, what else, take down a monolithic corporation. All of the tried and true action RPG mechanics are here. A character creator, upgradable primary and secondary weapons, customizable armor and skills that can each also be leveled up, and side quests aplenty. Weapon and skill upgrades are the big highlights here as you can make significant boosts to your health reload speed, energy level, and other tangible things that have a direct and enjoyable impact on the gameplay. Armor never really felt like it could be built up the way your weapons can, but at least I looked like a badass hulking tank by the end, and you're able to enjoy your build after the closing credits roll because you'll be dumped back into the world to continue working on side quests if you want to. All of this feeds the Ascent's core gameplay loop. Aim, shoot, dodge, kill, and repeat. Crouching or aiming above your head also factor heavily into combat, though those can sometimes be annoying, such as when you get hung up on a decoration in the environment when trying to roll, or when you try to shoot someone who's on some stairs. Still, most of the time it's sadistically fun to pull your gun's trigger here, as many weapons have potent knockback effects or straight up tear the limbs from your foes. Enemy variety is also deep enough such that you're encouraged to keep a number of weapons on hand to take down particular foes, be it a target-seeking energy rifle against a hovering mini-boss or a rocket launcher for large spider-bot mini-bosses. While combat stayed relatively entertaining most of the way through, the last stretch of the campaign did test that feeling a bit. As I've seen in countless games before, The Ascent subscribes to the late game design philosophy of just throw all of the toughest enemies you've already faced before at you, but all at once, which has never been particularly fun and certainly isn't here. The end is just a grind, and it frustrated me more than anything else. Some questionable late game checkpoint placement didn't help either, and though there are multiple fast travel methods available to you, sometimes you're just stuck walking for quite a while to reach your objective, and there will always be randomly spawned enemies obnoxiously in your way. I recommend bringing a friend along to help numb that end game pain, though then again, co-op makes the ascent better 100% of the time anyway. The Ascent's satisfying, gun-tastic action RPG gameplay loop mixes with its beautiful cyberpunk aesthetic to create an overall enjoyable experience. Neither its story nor its characters are all that memorable, and its enemy encounters can stumble toward the end, but its gunplay and ultra-violence in a neon-soaked world combine to craft a co-op-friendly game you just don't see every day. For more on The Ascent, don't miss our wiki guide all about it, as well as the release date trailer. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN.